village of Ozinov Dolny in Poland, pretty much the middle of nowhere. You'd think it would be deserted. But in fact, it's a hive of activity, hairdressing activity. Hair salons line the streets. Some 150 hairdressers are employed in the village's 30 locales. It's not hard to figure out where most of their clients come from. Germany, just over the border. I think we're happy on both sides of the border, the German customers and the Polish hairdressers. These days, there are lots of hairdressing salons here, and therefore a lot of competition. But we all have enough business because of all the Germans. And the Germans aren't put off by the financial crisis. They might be saving their pennies, but they're still getting their hair done. Weekends are especially busy. The boss and her five employees wash, cut, and blow dry hair around the clock. And a lot of the customers come from Berlin. The German capital is just 60 kilometers away. She does a good job. I always go to her. In Germany, I'd pay 10 to 12 euros for just a cut, no washing or styling. And here, you get everything, and it only costs 4 euros. And that makes a difference. When it's that cheap, who wouldn't prefer to get their highlights done here? And by a friendly hairdresser who's not in a hurry and appreciates the extra custom. The hairdressers have noticed a few differences between their Polish and their German customers. Our Polish customers aren't as brave as Germans when it comes to coloring their hair. They're quite conservative when it comes to color and cut. The German customers tend to prefer strong colors, and they're more willing to experiment. At peak time, as many as 5,000 German cars a day cross the Oder River to snap up all kinds of bargains in neighboring Poland. Ozinov Dolny has become a shopper's paradise. The Polish Sloty has fallen sharply against the euro in the wake of the financial crisis, and Germans are making the most of the opportunity. They can buy pretty much everything they want and need at giveaway prices. Right now, Ola is with a customer from Germany she's had for years. Kerstin Gabler insists she's not just here because it's so cheap, but because Ola's simply the best. I come here because I know my hairdresser always does a good job. I'm a hairdresser myself, and I know I can trust her. German-Polish relations have often been strained but you'd never know it here in Ozinov Dolny. The Yando Salon is open 365 days a year. The villagers know what Germans want and are happy to give it to them.